hi my youtube family this is melody from home garden and fashion today i will talk to you about this beautiful designer dupatta i have created this is a very pretty designer dupatta as you see it has very beautiful designs and this dupatta has sequins and beads so it has the red sequins and then yellow beads golden beads and red sequins then it has uh, golden sequins red sequins golden sequins so this entire dupatta is really pretty it has two designs first of all i got the fabric from a fabric store to make a dupatta you need two yards of fabric you can get it from your local fabric store but be sure to use their coupons which usually comes on saturday paper or you can find the coupons at the store so then i added the lace you can purchase the lace at your any local craft store so two yards of fabric then the lace you can put all around but i just put this side and the other side and then i made a design and then i have another circle design all over this dupatta as you see and then at the end here there's three more designs so i will show you how i did it so number one is you need to get to make dupatta two yards of siphon or net fabric dupattas you can make um, with cotton too but to do a design it looks really pretty with siphon or net fabric and then you put lace go back to my third video where i taught you how to put uh, lace so you put lace and that was thin lace so you need one stitch but this is thick lace and wider so you need one stitch in this side one stitch in this side to hold it i have hand stitch all my dupatta laces because it's easy hand stitching and then you can just change the laces if you feel like it but if you machine stitch it's nearly impossible to change a lace so um, let's get on with it and uh, so I will show you first how I did this design let me show you the supplies you need supplies are this red sequence you can find it at your local craft store and i have used this brown beads which you can find at any craft store and i have used these sequins these um there are another kind of sequins which is round round you can buy them in packages i think in the craft store usually they are dollar 29 or dollar 49 but you could buy them 50 percent of coupons and really save yourself um, but what i did is i bought this one uh, for 50 percent of coupon i got this one for two dollar fifty cents or two dollar i believe and with this one you can have lots of sequins all you need to do is just pull out the sequins and keep it and that's what i've been doing and then I use this large confetti which is these these are the large confetti in the middle and then red sequins and this I created from cardboard uh, this really comes handy this is like a design I made it uh, out of the imagination and I'll show you how this one I will use to create the design on the dupatta so first thing you need to do for decorating your dupatta is uh, you have to secure it with pins on top of a bed seat see this is the white bed seat i have underneath you need the bed seat because uh, this dupatta when you mm, put this glitter glue paint which will get stuck and also you secure it so your dupatta doesn't slip away while you're working and uh, if it does slip away then the whole work will get messed up because um, this thing needs to be dried for the next three to four hours depending on how big your design the bigger the design longer it takes to dry well approximately about three to four hours okay so 
how we gonna get started as you see I have already done the whole thing I have left few of these to just to show you now this um, what do you do basically you drop a lot of this well I'll show you on top of this one this one uh, even though I already put one I'll put a second one just to show you and now you put this large sequence and then you take this is my tool this is I previous videos I explained that this is an empty container for this glitter paint which I use as a tool I just use this top one to push down my glitters and it works better than any tool now you gently push down this sequence so it will create a beautiful edging which will be like a trim gold trim so I just put extra on all the others are already done now I'm gonna show you how I did the side in order to do the side you just drop little since your sequence a little you really don't need to drop a lot you just drop tiny little bit bit and closer to each other mm. this will be exactly like uh, your Jordosi design except you don't need a frame and you don't need to tie it down real tight or anything you just put some clips and it will be looking just like the Jordosi design now I put in this um, little bowls so that separates each one of the colors it's easy now to do it is better to keep it in your hand and you have to go get little bit of this glitter paint just to get it stuck to the tip of this tool and you do this inside out because inside is more shinier than the outside well if you do drop one or two outside it's okay but you try to do it the inside now you go on like this now continue doing it till you do the whole circle now this uh, once it dries the, the design turned out really really pretty like this I have many many more dupatta design video series coming up so please do not forget to subscribe because if you subscribe then as soon as the videos are out you will get your email notification so you see this one is done now we're gonna do the next one just to show you I will do a couple of these and then we'll move into the big design now let's do this quickly so you drop quickly like this it's better to work with it very fast because it dries as you see here I dropped some and I had to go do something else and it got dried and now I have to redo that so like this now this tupatta is really really beautiful and it did not cost me more than ten dollars because first of all you need to use the store coupons the 50% off coupon comes on your Sunday paper uh, or uh, you can get in their email listing they email you the coupons you can get the flyers in the store the flyers always have 40% 50% off coupons and you use them to buy all your supplies so these two are done now we're gonna move into the big design now big design what I did is to do the big design you need a chalk this is the design you lay the design down and I have given some gap and this side I have kept four inches gap this side about an inch this side eight inches so they were eight inches apart uh, this is already one time done I'm just gonna do second time to show you you just follow along the edges and draw the picture follow along the edges like this and draw the picture now we're done with that now after we do after we do this in case you mess it up don't worry too much because you can just remove the whole thing with the wet paper towel 
like this one happen once it dries it's okay don't be so bad now see this one has a design and we'll do that So go to the very edge, leaving a little bit space for your sequins, and draw another one. Like this. So when you're working, you have to be very careful because you can mess up the other one, the one you already did, because while they are wet, more chances of getting messed up. If you do mess up, don't worry about it. Just wipe it off with a little wet towel and it will be fine. So I drew exactly the same thing inside. Now after you draw that, now you put dots like the one you did before around that circle. So you put dots around this. A quick dots like this and then this one is gonna be red so you quickly go on the entire so you take some in your hand and quickly go over this the faster you go better they will be stuck because as it gets late, it gets dried up quickly. Like this. And the, um, as you see in the Jardosi designs, how they are close by. So you need to put uh, these sequences close by. Because when they are close, they look really nice. Go on like this. like this after this one i have a video coming up which will be on the uh, uh, banarasi uh, dupatta i was making with the old banarasi sari which i already posted now i have to give you the update how i'm finished with it and i'm using red sequins on that too so by tonight i will finish it up hopefully by tomorrow I will post that one too to show you that how it turned out and then I have another video coming up I am that one I am doing putting mirror in a, a blue deep blue uh, dupatta and putting white mirror but it's really not mirror because you know you can't put mirror on a dupatta because mirrors are really heavy so when I do this, I got big, big, like this, white confetti. So now you see we did, we did the red. Now inside one, we have to do a few dots because we, the inside one, we're going to do a golden. Because inside one has golden. So like this. Like, like that. And then you get some of this gold color and then you set them down quickly as quickly as possible now this is way much better than stitching because you're stitching you need a far the farm frame and then you have to uh, make it really tight the fabric on the frame and then you need this thin thin needles and each one of them one by one and go on for hours this is the same effect you have without this stitching and uh, these things uh, will not come out in washing or drying so it's really beautiful without the stitching now we're done with that now you continue with the outer layer with your red one and then we're going to do another sequence, the gold one, um, inner layer of the red one. Red one is the outer layer, the inner layer is 
with the gold and then after that the outer layer will be made with the beads uh, and then the very outer layer the outermost layer is gonna be done with red sequins after this whole thing this dupatta is so gorgeous and you couldn't possibly buy a dupatta like this for ten dollars because of the uh, labor involved in it it's very laborious job and uh, in order to make this dupatta you really had to do a lot of hard work but if you're making your own at the end the reward is really sweet because this is so beautiful dupatta now like this you continue this tool is my invention i invented this tool to make my three other jadosi sari i created and this tool really works good but um, if you cannot buy a tool like this i don't know if they sell it it was just i first started doing it with the q-tips and i figure out q-tips wasn't really doing good because it was getting stuck because this is glue and the glue was getting stuck to the q-tip so it wasn't working so but then i used this one and that really came handy and since then i've been using this now i'm gonna show you after this dupatta series are done i have few more coming out I have a net dupatta black and I'm going to put tiny little mirrors on it. Well, as I told you, you can't possibly put mirrors on your dupatta because they will get really heavy. But you could put something mirror looking like mm, white confetti, big big confetti which looks like mirror but then a mirror. Uh, so that's what I'll be putting. But this uh, black lace dupatta I will be putting tiny little white confetti and then the blue dupatta deep blue dupatta i will create which will have a big mirror looking confetti uh, another blue dupatta i'm trying to create which will have blue confetti and which really looks so beautiful with gold looks like peacocks now we're do, gonna do the inside one real quick so you get the idea you have to just drop this thing and then you stick your sequence in it and then you once it's finishing it's really it gets a little messy but don't worry about it you put your sequence on top of it and once it's dried it will look good uh, unless you have a big blob of this came out and then you're gonna have to use a paper towel to wipe it off instantly otherwise it will be dry and then it won't look good now I will go through this and then I will show you the so beads and then you can do the other outer layer yourself because as long as you get the idea how to do it, that's it. Now you see, you quickly go through this in. While you're doing it, if you drop one or two, if you can pick it up, it's okay. But if you cannot, just leave it like that because you can do that later. When it dries, it's easy to pick up that time. Then when it's wet, when it's wet, you will mess it up the whole thing. So like this. You continue you can buy this um, belt or hairband made out of this sequence and use that to do the design because um, those bells or the hairbands full of sequence has really a lot of sequence and you can get it with your coupon 50 cents or a dollar and use that to put it in your sari or dupatta because mm. if you buy the sequence packages well most of the time you have to buy the packages but they're like $1.49 and inside there may be 
100 sequins, 50 sequins. But to do a dupatta or a sari, you really need a lot. So, done. This inside is done. Now, we saw the outer layer. Outer layer is going to be this beads. Like this, we're going to draw quickly. Like this. And then we will have another outer layer which I will just leave you with to do your own because it's just sticking the beads to it. Now I will just so you go on like this putting darts and put your beads all around it like this. First you put the glue, bitter glue, and then you put drop your beads quickly. Because as you see this kit dries very quickly. So you have your beads in your hand and you get some if you cannot get the beads a little bit hard so you might have to just drop them if you cannot pick them up you have to try working closer to the surface then they might be able to get them on it so like this as you see like this So if you do make a mistake, you right away wipe it off so it goes away. Sometimes you are able to pick up the bead, sometimes you're not. It depends on if it's going to be stuck with this or not. Like this. You continue until you're done. And then outer edge, you're going to do exactly the way. I saw you with the red one and you're done and you have yourself the most gorgeous dupatta which you created yourself and the satisfaction of knowing that you created something so beautiful so I'm gonna leave you with this and I will get back to you with my new dupatta creation this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you need any help with anything. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Have a great day.